If you want to see Monday again, bring me a box of books and some chocolate and, and bacon. I could use a little more cowbell. Concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain, and 100% reason to remember the name. Gretchen's off this week being awesome or something. So I'm Carrie Harris, and I'm your Alterna Rebel for this week. This week we're talking about writing heroes, and I have to confess, I don't have one. I'm a little, let's say, hard to please when it comes to the hero thing. Seriously, if you're going to be a hero, you've got to have the goods. You need to have a belt with things on it and an outfit made of spandex and the kind of body that would make it okay that you wore an outfit made of spandex out in public. You have to have a sidekick. You have to have a girlfriend or boyfriend who doesn't really know who you are. You need to have a husky voice. Seriously, every time I get sick, my husband asks me to do the Batman voice. I suppose the other possibility is that I could become a writing hero. I mean, I'd have to come up with a name. I could be like... The first draft Avenger. <laughs> wow, that's horrible. Okay, how about the Typinator? I can type like the wind, which also sucks. I need help. I need a, I need a writing hero name. But really, the the superpower, the writing hero superpower that I would like to have is to write a first draft that does not suck. So maybe I'd be the non-suckinator. For me, those sucky first drafts are a mark of honor, or a badge of privilege, or a red badge of courage, or maybe a scarlet letter. I don't know. Anyway, I'm proud of the fact that I write sucky first drafts, because I think that that shows that I edit, which is good. And... Gives jobs to editors. So really, I'm doing my part in, in making the world a better place and employing people who need jobs. I got nothing. I guess my point, you know, if I had one, would be that... To a certain extent, I think our writing heroes are imaginary. Not that they don't exist, you know, and their books are being written by robots or something, but that our concept of who they are, you know, as somebody who writes these impeccable first drafts and does it all right the first time and does not suck, is totally imaginary. It's not real. So maybe instead of comparing ourselves to those writing heroes, it's worth Picturing them in tights? Maybe instead of idolizing them, we should take the time to accept what we do and realize that someone somewhere is probably idolizing you. <laughs>